Hi, Charlie here. We know more about outer space than we do our own oceans. So it's no surprise there are many unexplained mysteries hidden below our waters. These discoveries prove the ocean really is the scariest place in the world. From lost ancient cities found underwater, to real unidentified vessels and even ancient computers. These underwater discoveries prove just how little we actually know about our world. Lost City For years many believed that of the northern coast of Egypt was a lost underwater city. The city was named Thonis, or as the ancient Greeks called it, Heraklion. For a long time many believed the city was simply a myth. That's because it was only mentioned by Greek authors and we had no real evidence for it. But in 2012 this all changed. Near Abu Bay, an amazing find was found underwater. Researchers found the ancient city of Thonis. People were stunned as many believed it was mythical this entire time, but it turns out the city was real. The city was found at a depth of 164 feet. Divers found gigantic, mysterious statues. These statues were of ancient Egyptian deities. They also found ancient stone columns, and on them were Egyptian and Greek inscriptions. They also found sphinxes and gold treasure. All of the artifacts have not yet been recovered. Because of the type of water, these relics were in quite good condition. One archaeologist diver named Frank Godio found an amazing discovery too. He found a 6 foot 2 meter granite slab in the underwater city, and on the slab the city's name Heraklion had been carved. Many artifacts from the city are still hidden in the waters, and according to experts it will take at least 200 years to retrieve and study them all. The mysterious thing is no one knows what happened to Heraklion. We're not sure how this ancient city ended up underwater. Some scientists say that an earthquake was to blame, while others say a massive tsunami wiped out the city and dragged it under the sea. It's funny, for many years people said that Heraklion was just a myth, but in 2012 they were proven wrong. Maybe the same thing will happen to Atlantis. Many believe Atlantis is simply a myth. But you never know, it could be hidden under the sea just waiting for someone to come along and discover it. Tank During the Second World War, a German tank and its crew disappeared. This happened in 1944, but in 2007 an amazing discovery was made in the Baltic Sea. On the 26th of May 2007 a tank was pulled from the sea. The tank was a Jack Panzer 38. It weighed a massive 16 tons. Mysteriously, the tank had no upper plates or rear armor. Inside, the belongings of the crew were found. The German tank was pulled onto a beach in Poland. To this day, it's a mystery why this tank ended up in the sea, and what happened to the tank's crew is also unknown as well. There is a theory that the tank was abandoned by the German soldiers. This was so that it could not be used by the Soviet army. But if that's the case, then what happened to the crew? Eventually the tank was repainted its original green military colours, and it can now be found at the Museum of the Polish Army in Warsaw. We may never know how this 16 ton tank ended up in the sea, let alone what happened to its crew. The Baltic Anomaly in 2011, sonar equipment found something strange on the Baltic Sea floor. This was between Sweden and Finland. The object looked man-made. It was 60 meters in diameter and a very peculiar shape. Its shape was very similar to the Millennium Falcon from Star Wars. Some believe this was a secret military experiment that crashed into the sea. Others believe it may be the turret of an old battleship. And of course, some speculate it could be a UFO. But despite all the theories, no one really knows what this is. Some believe it's made of stone, but the shape just does not seem natural. Before we move on, why not subscribe and press the bell too? It really does help me out. Lost Cuban City in 2001, sonar equipment found something strange off the west coast of Cuba. The sonar readings simply made no sense. The sonar equipment said there were large, symmetrical and geometric shapes on the sea's floor. Divers went to the site and were astonished. They found large blocks of stone. 
These large stone blocks were stacked on top of each other like pyramids. Experts are not sure if these are man-made. If they are, then it would challenge lots of what we know about the world. That's because if they were man-made, they would have been built around 50,000 years ago. This was long before anything like this had been built anywhere else. Over two decades later, we still don't know the truth behind this lost Cuban city. What do you guys think? Yonaguni Monument in the 1980s, divers discovered something strange in the waters of Japan. They found what appeared to be a gigantic temple. They found the ruins of pillars, columns, and even a star-shaped platform. At first, they assumed it was natural, but after inspecting carvings in the stone, they realized it must have been man-made. It's believed this monument was part of a civilization that existed thousands of years ago. But after sea levels rose following the last ice age, the city was submerged underwater. Ancient Computer The Antikythera mechanism is said to be the oldest computer in the world, at least in an ancient sense. It was built all the way back in 2nd century BC. So why is this mechanism called computer? Well, it's a mechanism that can track years and passing stars. Its design is so complex, many believe that humans did not create it. The device was discovered in 1901 by divers off the coast of a Greek island. To this day, it's still being studied by engineers, astronomers, and historians. Lost Indian City in 2001, ruins of an ancient city were found off the coast of India. The discovery was named the Ruins of the Gulf of Combat. Divers found man-made geometric structures, and stones arranged in complex patterns. The city even had its own drainage system. That was very advanced for its time. It's believed the civilization that built this predates all other civilizations of the Indian subcontinent. Benimi Road off the coast of the Bahamas, a discovery was made that changed how we think about ancient civilizations. It turns out they were likely much more advanced than we think. The Bimini Road is made up of many stones, all lined up with one another. It's believed this was a breakwater constructed by an ancient civilization, and the breakwater was likely made to protect an ancient lost city. These discoveries really prove that we're not as smart as we think we are and we really don't know much about our own planet at all. We're discovering new things all the time, and seeing as 95% of the Earth's waters are unexplored, I think we'll find a lot more. But now it's time for you to make your voice heard. Comment down below which was the most amazing underwater discovery. If you want some more amazing videos, check out my second channel. But as always, thanks for watching. There are some more videos you will love on screen right now. And if you haven't already, then what are you waiting for? Subscribe to Top 10s.